Hello everyone, I am finally doing my walkthrough of the Enchanted Mab Oracle Cards by Colette Baron reed Um, let's see, what do we need to know about these cards? Uh, card illustrations are by Jenna. Della Grataglia Maldonado. Alright. So, here you go. Nice book. It's a nice little book. Works quite well. Like so. Alright. Um, I really like it. Um, Apparently, she has a book called The Enchanted Map. I have not read it. I did not know that these went along with the book. But what it says on the back is, Imagine between the visible and the unseen is a guiding force that some call spirit, the holy will, the divine, the field, or consciousness. Using this card deck by Colette Baron reed will connect you to that larger consciousness and guide you as you travel along the journey of your life. The themes of these 54 cards represent some of the places you'll visit, the conditions you may encounter, and the allies and challengers you'll meet as you navigate a metaphoric map of your life's journey. The Enchanted Guidebook will help you ask the right questions and interpret the messages in your reading. The Enchanted Map Oracle cards were created in order to empower you to understand the story of your fate, destiny, and free will, and allow you to chart a course to live a life of deep purpose, true spot, prosperity, and vibrant love. Isn't that nice? Let us open. The guidebook, I feel, is very nice. Let me keep it all in frame. Pretty thick. Each card gets somewhere between two to three pages, okay? Um, what you get for each card is a small black and white picture of the card. The cards are numbered, so that's how you locate them. There's a little quote. This card is spark, and the quote is, You are a clear channel for divine creativity. Then you have an upright meaning. Which continues to here then you have a reverse meaning so if you're someone who likes reversals go for it with this deck um, one thing I like about this deck is how it's presented okay hey houses who put this out by the way um, I like it because it's presented in an interesting way um, let's see that's what we read on the back there's a meditation that you can do right here that talks about an angel coming to you and giving you a compass which you will notice the back of the cards it's kinda like two compasses right together with a heart a little heart so guidebook is very nice um, it goes through sample readings how to do a reading the purpose of the cards one card, three card, six card, and it just goes through like examples like of what, if this is what your question is and you do these six cards and these are the cards you draw, here's an example reading. So it's not just how to do a six card draw, it's how to do a six card draw and interpret it with these cards. So it gives you an idea of how to use the deck. Um, there is a spread in here. Let's find it. Wait, where's the spread? Oh, nope, I was thinking of another one. There isn't any particular, like, spreads given. You know how some decks come with spreads, right? So the rest of it is all the cards. So much info. Alright. Let's talk about the cards. There are 54. They are gilded in gold. I am a sucker for gilding, guys. 
sucker. We've already seen the back and it is reversible and you know regardless of how you put it you're not gonna know what's what right all right let me make sure i get these all nicely in frame and then we will start looking at them together okay i have put them in order and we're just gonna look at them uh i think the artwork is amazing on these cards all right Number one. Well, I started from the back. That's 54. Start from one. I put them in reverse order, apparently. <laughs> or, I put them in order, but not for flipping them. I don't know, whatever. So, number one is the Bone Collector. This is actually one of my favorite cards. Just gorgeous. Gentle Gardener. You can see the face here looking down on what appears to be eggs. Oh, there's little fairies on the eggs too. Little fairies. Wizard of Awareness. He looks very wise, don't you think? Very wise. Spirit of Place. Goblins. There's a few little goblins in this one. Well, Sack, quit chewing on plastic. Quit chewing on plastic. Stop. My cat is trying to chew on the trash bag in the wastebasket by me. Stop. We don't chew on plastic. It's not food. What are you doing with your life? Mountain. Into the unknown. Another one of my favorites, just as far as the artwork come together. Storm Fields. I've had this card come up for me a few times. Rock Bottom. Oh my god. This card haunted me for months. Months. And honestly it was true. I was at rock bottom with my financial and medical situation. I truly was. Balancing Act. Very gorgeous. I find a lot of these cards have like kind of a fantasy ethereal feel and I love it. Slow and steady. You can see she's like a fairy but there's like this um, shell. Like a snail shell. Solitude. Ride the wave. One ring circus. Rescue, which appears to be in the form of a hot air balloon. Ghost lands. I just think this looks very magical. I love wintry landscapes. I just find them gorgeous. Like you can see the zodiac signs here. There's Gemini, Cancer, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio. I don't know the symbols very well. And I honestly don't know the symbols on the outer circle. Maybe they're runes, I'm not sure. But I find this card very magical and beautiful. Magic Stream. I've got this one before. Dragon's Lair. Flying. Field of Dreams. Looks like more of those eggs with little fairies sitting on them. Intention. Pretty owl sitting on a rather large egg. Holding a little dandelion. Golden palace. Stuck in the mud. Metamorphosis. Very interesting. Interesting pictures. You can see there is a, a cocoon there and a butterfly on the outside of it. I'm just not really sure what those flamingos would, that look quite strange are doing at the bottom. Deep freeze. Home. Movement. Coming to life. Making a choice. 
I think the imagery on this card is quite obvious. <laughs> it is two paths with two doors. Dry desert. Magic prayer. Peaks of joy. Would you stop chewing the plastic? What did I tell you? He's back to chewing plastic. Spark. Education. Commitment. Cleaning house. We all gotta do that sometime, right? Not just physically, but metaphorically. This is probably my favorite because it is just so damn adorable. Heal the ouch. Look, the little fox has a little ice pack on his head and the little raccoon has a little nurse hat on. How can you not love this card? It's just so freaking cute. Protecting treasure. Follow the leader. Unexpected visitors. I got this one the other day. Wide open. Hang on. I gotta go fix my cat. Hang on. It will make him stop, you know, eating plastic, so. It's a good thing, trust me. You're probably like, the cat wasn't affecting me, why do I care? Well, he's my baby. Alright. We have details, details. Strength. A sad embrace. Coming apart. Not all the cards are happy. Sacred pool. Wishing well. Talisman. The compass. Oh look, it looked just like the one on the back of the cards. Moonlight. Magical map shifter. He does look rather magical, doesn't he? He kind of makes me think of the magician in tarot. Listening. I love this one too. There's the elephant. And if you look really close, you see a tiny little bird sitting on his head. I hope the camera's focusing on that. And there's little music notes coming out. There's also a little bird on his tusk right here too. Encouragement. And that is the last card. Now, I am going to just so you get a, a better idea of, you know, what kind of information the book has, I'm going to read what the book says about one card for you. So I'm just going to read Encouragement since it's the one up, and you can just look at it while I read. The quote on this one is, you're receiving a nudge in the right direction. Good card, right? Upright. This card tells you that you're being gently encouraged to step into your power, into the dream of your life. New things are out there to be explored, and the nurturing power of the universe is giving you a nudge in the right direction. You will get the help you need and won't be alone in your quest. Every step you take right now is supported by the wisdom of the universe. You are on the right path. Keep going. Reversed. A misstep isn't the end of the world. You've fallen into a trap of false courage, and only humility will lead you out of it. Perhaps you weren't listening to your intuition, and now you're in a jam. Being too self-reliant without knowing the ropes has brought you to this place. Don't become too discouraged. All is well, and you can always start again. Take another road, and surely discover new territories where love really blooms. Just remember to rely on your higher power. You can't always get what you want, but spirit knows your needs. Something better waits around the corner. I do want to say one thing. I've heard some people say that Colette Baron Reed's decks are too fluffy and light, and... I don't find that to be the case. What I find is that rather focusing on doom and gloom, I find that she focuses on the solution. You know, what I just read you for the reverse meaning said, you did something wrong. 
but it also said how to fix it, right? How to move forward. To me, it's not helpful to just be like, oh, the, the everything's crashing down right now. You're gonna, it's gonna be a horrible week, okay? But what can I do about it? You know, what can I do that will make my life better? instead of just accepting this, you know, horrible week, right? That's how I look at Colette's cards. Um, and that's why I really like her cards, actually. I don't think she leaves out the darkness or hard stuff at all, which is something I have heard some people say about her decks. I just believe she focuses more on the solution, the how to move forward, the how to fix it, the how to deal with it rather than the it sucks so that's my take on it of course you may have your own opinion leave me any questions comments anything at all down below i would love to read them um i'm getting the good tarot today it should arrive uh which is also by colette baron reed it's the only tarot deck she's done Sorry if my camera keeps shaking, I just got a new tripod and I'm trying to figure out the best way to set it up to do these, um, where everything makes sense. <laughs> so I'm still working on it. I'll figure some stuff out. Thank you so much for joining me. Leave me any questions, comments below. Um, any suggestions for things you'd like me to cover on this channel would be great too. Anything witchy related, pagan related, um, tarot, oracle, divination in general related. Just let me know. I will see you in my next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye.